so this is um oh god okay so I just got out of the theater watching Madam Web and for all you motherfuckers that got on the internet and shat on the Marvels saying that this woman led movie is the MCU and it's horrible and it's garbage you can shut your fucking mouth right now because Madam Web is the fucking worst Marvel movie both Sony and Marvel MCU fucking combined the movie feels too long it's trying to connect characters that don't have any connection. Like, okay, like, the three girls had a connection with the main girl, but the three girls had no fucking connection between them. And the ability to see into the future... Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm jumping all over the place. I'm going to have to do notes and do, like, a proper review. But this is the worst... It's the worst. And it's not because of the... It's not because people are like, hey, you're just mad because it was girls in the lead. And they beat up a guy. Nothing to do with that. Because the Marvel's fine film. She-Hulk on Disney+. Plus. For what it was. It was an okay show. It was fine. It was lighthearted. It was supposed to be goofy. It, it wasn't supposed to be as serious. This was a serious film. This was a serious film. And, and the humor. Fucking dead on arrival. All the jokes that were shared or that were said in the movie. Not one fucking chuckle in the theater. Not one. And so much stupid shit happened. If I kidnapped three women. Spoiler. She was accused of kidnapping the three girls. If I kidnapped three girls. There would be so many fucking cops at airports to, or, yeah, to, to prevent me from leaving the fucking country. But in this movie, you can kidnap three women, because that's what they believe that she did. You can kidnap three fucking women, and you can go to fucking Peru for a week and come back, and no fucking repercussions. You can fucking steal multiple vehicles. Multiple vehicles. And not a fucking problem. Not a goddamn problem. Not not a consequence. There are so many things happened in this movie that either had no repercussions, it didn't fucking matter, or just flat out confusing. This, I need to take a moment, and I'll do a proper review on my YouTube channel, but this is the dumbest fucking movie. Sony, I know you have the license for Spider-Man, and you need to churn out all these Spider-Man movies to keep the contract so you can make money, but maybe you should follow the MCU lead here. And slow your fucking roll. Stop pumping out so many movies. Because if this is the quality of movie. That you're expecting. People to pay. To see these new movies. It's not going to work out for you. It's not going to work out for you. Because this. Thank God is a standalone movie. And thank God for this movie. It's pretty much fucking guaranteed not to have a sequel. Because. Everything about this movie is garbage. I didn't find the acting particularly good. The soundtrack was just... Songs that are 20 years old that, that weren't really that good. The CGI isn't great. It's not mind-blowing. Oh, just... IGN, you were being very generous when you gave this movie a 5 out of 10. I think I might give this a fucking 3. Me being generous is a 4. 
This might, yeah, this might be the dumbest superhero movie I've seen. And I'll be honest, I haven't seen Morbius. Because I didn't want to see that out of principle because it looks so fucking atrocious. Sony, you, you need to listen to the fans this time. Don't think that, oh, it's bad publicity, so we're going to make money. No, this is just a bad film. This is just bad. Don't waste your video or don't waste your time watching the film. Don't. Don't. Okay. I'm done. I'm going to go home and actually record a, a, a decent review. All right. Fucking Madam Web. Wish I had the ability to not see this fucking movie.